SP Crater lies within the San Francisco Volcanic Field, a complex of 600 volcanoes in an 1,800 square mile area just north of Flagstaff, Arizona. The San Francisco Volcanic Field is dominated by the 12,633 foot Humphreys Peak, a stratovolcano. The most recent eruption in the San Francisco volcanic field was only 900 years ago, and the source of the basaltic magma here is thought to be a hot spot. Standing here in front of SP Crater in the northern edge of the San Francisco volcanic field, SP Crater is purportedly 2,000 years old, and as you can see behind me, is still representative of a very young cinder cone. SP Crater is a textbook example of a cinder cone. You can see that when it erupted, it threw globules of liquid lava into the air. While these globules in the, were in the air, they hardened and fell down and built up this pile in behind me. Also, if you look down to the base of SP Cinder Cone, you can see a lava flow that comes and issues out of the base. Now, this lava flow flows out in a northerly direction about six and a half miles. On the rim top, just around the very top as you can see up there, there is solid lava. Now it's believed that when SP Crater was erupting, the lava, most of the, any lava or large globules that it hurled out stuck to the top of the rim and it's a very fused hard surface which has caused SP Crater not to erode much at the top. So it's kept it in, all, in nearly pristine condition for the last 2,000 years. So to uh, get a closer inspection of SP Crater, let's head on up. At the top of SP Crater, the elevation here is a little over 7,000 feet. And if you look in behind me, you can see the lava flow that comes out of the base of this crater. This lava flow extends out about 6.4 miles and it's one of the largest lava flows that we can see today out here on the San Francisco volcanic field. Uh, historically the literature suggested that this volcano erupted and the lava flow flowed out here 70,000 years ago but recent research at Northern Arizona University has put that date at just 2,000 years ago that would make this crater cinder cone, the second youngest crater out here in the San Francisco volcanic field. So 2,000 years ago when SP crater erupted, if you look off and pan around to the rim off here, you'll see that the elevation gradually gets higher and higher till we get our peak elevation at the extreme um, northeastern side of this crater. The reason for that is that the prevailing wind during the time of the eruption was from the southwest and that would have piled up these globules of lava higher on the northeast section of the crater. And one of the reasons that this crater is still in such good shape, in other words it hasn't eroded very much, is because this scoria and basalt that is now formed along the rim is really protecting it from the weather. SP Cinder Cone has a well-developed central crater approximately 400 feet in depth. This is the conduit through which the molten basalt was extruded. As is typical in the eruption of this type of cinder cone, large globules of liquid lava were hurled in the air. These globules then hardened while in the air, resulting in a surface today strewn with volcanic bombs. There is a typical sequence of events during the eruption of a volcano like SP. First, the magma that reaches the surface has significant amounts of enclosed gas which causes rather explosive eruptions resulting in the production of cinders and bombs. Second, after most of the enclosed gas has been released, 
the remaining lava is quietly extruded from the base of the volcano as seen here at the base of SP. The eruption of the nearby volcano Sunset Crater in the year 1064 caused considerable disruption to the local Puebloan culture called the Sinagua. Archaeological evidence suggests that the Sinagua were able to flee their pueblos before being overtaken by lava and ashfall. Evidence further suggests that the Sinagua returned after the final eruption of Sunset Crater to find that soils were now more nutrient rich from the volcanic ash and were then able to thrive in this area until the late 1200s.